We had this question on set theory when Venn diagrams and we are told that in a school of 160 pupils, 75 have pencils, 87 have pens, 93 have rulers, 25 have both pencils and pens, 30 have pencils and rulers, while 47 have both pens and rulers. Each pupil has at least one of the three items. Our mandate is to first draw the Venn diagram to illustrate this information and then to find how many pupils have pencils only. So for this particular question, we are going to be using P as our pencils, Q as our pen, and R as our ruler. And our very first mandate is to define all of this information that we have here, which we are going to be doing right about now that in the first case, the number of pupils, which is the universal set we are looking at is 160, okay? And then we are told that 75 have pencils, so the number of those with pencils is 75. And then the number of those with pens, which we are denoting as Q, so you see Q is denoting pens, is 87, all right? Then the number of pupils that are actually having rulers were given as 93, so we can put that as 93. Then we have the intersections, like here, 25 have both pencils and pens, so the number of pencils intersect pen were given as 25, okay? And that's not all, we're also told that 30 have both pencils and rulers, so P intersect R, number of those having pencils and ruler, is given as 30 and then 47 have both pens and ruler so number of students with pens which we denote as Q and ruler is given as 47 so these are the information that we are given that we expected to also put in the Venn diagram and then we need to know that the fact that each pupil has at least one of the three items means that all of the pupil will be included either within P or Q or R or the intersection of them with one another. None is going to be outside that combination of PQ and R. So that is that information. And as a rule of thumb, I generally prefer that we should start at the intersection of the three subsets that we are looking at. And you can see in the details that we are giving, we are not giving the detail of those pupils that has all three items that we are looking at. So since we are not given, we can be we can do what to call that x. Okay. So having done that, we can work our way outwards. Since you are starting from the center, now let's look at the intersection of each one of them. Like in the first case, we want to look at the intersection of P and Q. P and Q, you need to know that that will denote this region. This is P and Q. These two is the one that is common to both P and Q here. But if you notice from that already. We have gotten x out so the remaining year that is in green will be that 25 that they denoted as p intercept q this two is 25 but if we take x out of it this remaining year that is still in green will have to be 25 minus x so you can say here what we have here is 25 minus x and that same rule we can apply to other intersection point like for example we have the number of p intercept r this is p intercept r it is given as 30 so here here and here is given as 30 but since we are taking x out of the equation intersection of q and r was given as 47 if you take x out this region will be 47 minus x okay so this is actually a very good means that can simplify your work for you now, if you look at the question, why not give information about those that have pencils only? And also, we're not giving the information about those that have pens only. Also, not giving information about those that have rulers only. Okay, since we are not giving any of those, I would like to call those regions. Let me call this A, that is pencil only. B is pens only. And then C will be rulers only. But don't forget, we are giving P itself to be 75. So P here, this is 75. Q, we are giving to be 87. Okay. And then R, we are giving to be 93. So with this information that we have here, the owners will now rely on us to make use of all this information and get out the solution to get the number of people that have pencils only. And that pencils only 
will be A, okay? Since P is our pencil, A will be pencil only. They only have pencils. They don't have rulers and they don't have pens, okay? So having interpreted our question already, we are seeing that we have four variables, four unknowns, and these are tagged as here. We have A, B, C, and X. A, B, C, and X that we are looking for. And to solve this holistically, we need four formula A. That will help us to actually solve this holistically so that particularly what we are being as the number of puppies that have pencils only, which we have identified as A, we can get that out easily. But first, we need to formulate our formula A that will help us to solve this holistically. We are seeing that we have some subsets in this particular Venn diagram. In the first case, we have been given the total number of puppies that have pencils at 75. So if we add all the regions of pencils, A, 30 minus X, X, and 25 minus X, we can equate it to 75, and that will give us one equation. Okay? We can do the same thing with Q, those puppies that have pens, and we can do the same with R, those puppies that have rulers. That is going to give us a set of three equations. But our fourth equation we warrant that since we are given the universal set, I want to that each pupil has at least one of the three items. Already we know that outside of these three subsets, no pupil is going to be there. But we have the universal set. So if we add all the entries, this region, this, 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 here, here, and here, if we add all of them, it's also going to give us 160. And that will be our fourth equation. So what we are going to do right now is just to put all those out and see where it's going to land us. In the first case, for the number of P, we have A plus 25 minus X here, 25 minus X plus this X, then plus the last region, 30 minus X. The total of them is actually the number of puppies having pencils, which is 75. So we are getting this from our number of pupils having pencils. And if you look at this critically, we can see that minus x and plus x, they will cut out. So we have four unknowns, a and minus x, a minus x, 25 plus 30, that is 55. When 55 move to the other side, we have 75 minus 55. So this will be equal to 20. I can call this my equation one. And in the same way, we can do for Q, that look at the entries in Q, B, 47 minus S, 25 minus S, and X, they all add up to be 87. So I'm going to have B plus 25 minus X plus X plus 47 minus X is equal to 87. I'm getting this as a reason of the number of puppies that are having pens okay so if i want to also simplify this i can see that minus x and plus x they are cutting and b minus x are b minus x is equal to yeah 25 plus 47 5 and 7 is 12 2 and 4 is 6 plus 1 that is 7 so i have that as 72 when 72 moves to the other side i have 87 minus 72 so that will be 15 so this is equation two, okay? And then in the third vein, if I consider those puppies with rulers, I will also add each of these entries. So I'm having C plus 30 minus X plus X plus 47 minus X is equal to 93. This is the number of students, number of puppies that are having rulers. And again, in trying to simplify, minus X and plus X, they are out. We are left with C minus X as our variable, then 30 plus 47, that will be 77. And when 77 moves to the other side, that will be 16. So I have 16, and I can call this my equation 3. Okay, but that is not all. I already told us that we have four unknowns, so we need four equations. And that last one will be the addition of all of these entry, equating them to 160. As universal says. So in that case, we have, let me just put it together as A plus B plus C, A, B, C. Then we have X here plus X plus 25 minus X plus 30 minus X plus 47 minus X. Everything is equal to 160. And this is 
a statement of the universal set. So what I have here eventually is that, look at this, this is plus x, this is minus x, the take them as are, so I'm left with a plus b plus c, and I have minus x and minus x, so that would be minus 2x, then 25 plus 30, that is 55, 55 plus 47, that would be 102, so I have plus 102, is equal to 160 such that a plus b plus c minus 2x is equal to 160 minus 102 that will be 58 and i can call this equation 4. so i have these four equations and of course i have these four unknowns also that i can try to solve out to get the solution to this particular question and i'm ready i'm seeing a symmetry look at this i'm having a plus b plus c here yeah? okay now if i add equation one two and three i can get a plus b plus c already so those three a plus b plus c yeah it will be minus 3x is equal to the addition of all this i can actually combine with this equation to first solve for x and that is what we are going to do exactly right about now okay so these are the set of equations that we have already. If I add these three equations together, equation 1, 2, and 3, we are going to have a plus b plus c. So we have a plus b plus c. Then minus x plus minus x plus minus x will be minus 3x. Then 20 plus 15, that is 35. 35 plus 16, that is 51. So this is 51. Let me call this equation 5. Got in from the addition of equations 1, 2, and 3. Now, if you look at this particular two equations, equations 4 and 5, you can see that, let me just say, I want to subtract them, okay? Here, I'm going to be subtracting. I want to subtract equation 4 minus 5. A plus B plus C, we subtract A plus B plus C, and that will be null. Minus 2x minus minus 3x will give us something like this. I have minus 2x minus minus 3x. That's going to be 58 minus 51. Okay, so that is making our work look interesting because this will be minus 2x plus 3x is equal to 58 minus 51. That is actually seven so minus 2s plus 3s means that x is actually seven so the number of puppies that have pencils pens and rulers x is actually seven but that's not what we're asked to get what we're asked to find is that how many puppies have pencils only so the number of pencils only we can see that we denoted it as a and looking at this equation we can see that equation one is saying a minus x is 20 so from that equation one, we can say we have a minus x is now seven is twenty. Therefore, a is twenty plus seven, and that is twenty-seven. And our a, you can see, is the number of puppies having pencils only. So we hope this has actually gone a long way to help you understand how to solve this particular type of questions on set theory, particularly with Venn diagrams. So you don't need to be stereotyped. You don't need to be adaptive to the question and then use your ingenuity like here. We are coming with the understanding of the fact that to solve a number of equations, you will need the exact number of equations as the exact number of variables that you are trying to get. So we have four variables and for us to be able to get that, we need four equations. We also need to get the other value like B. You can see from here, from equation two, B will be 15 plus seven. That will be 22. C will be 16 plus seven, okay? And that will be 23. So you can just get everything out and you can get whatever they wanted to ask. Once you have all these variables, you don't know them, they are no longer unknowns, they are known to you, then you can be good and fine and your work will be done and dusted.